Hello everyone, this is going to be the start of my Python 101 for Maya users. Um, so it's just going to go through the basics of using Python inside of Maya. Uh, right now I have Notepad++ open, and I'm going to be typing out my code here, and then uh, bringing it into Maya that we have over here. Um, we have the script editor, and we can uh, copy our Python code over here. Um, later on, throughout the set of tutorials I'm going to be creating, we'll look at how we can link between the two softwares. But right now, I just want to keep it simple and make it work just by copying and pasting over to, from one to the from Notepad++ to Maya. Um, a big reason why I like to use Notepad++ or any other um, script editor rather than doing it inside of Maya is because um, sometimes Maya likes to crash. And if it crashes and you're trying to type out some code, you might um, lose the code that you're working with. Also, if you have a piece of code that for some reason goes into an endless loop, it will get stuck and you have to force um, close the software. And then again, you'll lose your work. So this is kind of a way to prevent that. Um, Notepad++ or any other script editor, I'm sure, could crash. I just haven't had it happen to me yet. So that's kind of the workflow we're going to be working with right now. So let's look at the first bit of code we're going to be writing. Uh, the first thing I'd like to introduce is commenting. So with Python, commenting, what we're going to do is put a hashtag or a pound symbol, however you want to call it. Um, and what happens there is anything that you write after this symbol here is not going to be included in when the code is executed. So it's a good way to write notes and um, add any information that you are going to want to reference in later. Um, and when you do this, it's also good for production. So when you are working in a production setting, you might understand kind of what you're doing and um, but if you didn't put any comments, the next person might not exactly know, or it might take them a little bit of time to figure out what it is you're trying to get through with that piece of code. But if you add comments, you can explain it to yourself in the future or to someone else that's going to open up your file without them having to communicate with you directly. Uh, so the first thing I like to do is put my name of the file that I'm going to be writing. So I'm going to just going to call this um, first code and .py because it's going to be a Python file. I start off usually my file names with my initials um, just so that way I can uh, know that I was the one that originally wrote this piece of code. And it's kind of an easy way to keep track of that. And then I'm going to write another comment. This is going to describe what this piece of code is going to be doing. Um, this is going to be my first uh, Python script. Notice right now that we are getting everything as black type. In Notepad++, it just thinks it's a document to start off with. Um, if I go ahead and save this, and I am going to call it AP first code.py and then over here I'm going to make sure that we are under python <laughs> there we are 
select Python and then save it. And you can see that the lines of code turn green and this is going to be using color coordinate it's going to color coordinate everything in your uh, Python script so that we can see what is going on a little bit easier throughout the piece of code. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is do a one line piece of code. So let's start off with the command uh, print. And you can see as I type that it has found information that I might want to be able to use because it knows I'm using Python right now. So I'm going to be choosing print. And inside of parentheses, and you can see that it when I clicked and created one, it automatically closes it for me. So another benefit of using something like Notepad++ just kind of makes less things that you're going to want to print. So inside of parentheses and then in quotation marks, I'm going to do I am an awesome programmer. Cool. So this is going to be our first little bit of code and then we'll come back and modify it in a minute. But this is one line of code that is going to be a program that we can actually execute inside of Maya. So I copied that by pushing control C. Here inside of the Python tab of the script editor, I am going to click here and paste. And you can see that it's color coordinated, a little bit different side of Maya, but it's still color coordinated because it knows that we're using Python. Um, if you don't see a Python tab here, you can click on the Add a New tab, and it's going to ask you if you want a Mel Python tab, and click Python and paste it in here. Um, so, I'm going to select everything and then push uh, Enter on the numeric keypad. When I do that, you can see that it runs the script, and after it runs the script, it has what we actually told it to. We told it to print, I am an awesome programmer. So that's what's going on there. Our first piece of code works. Um, a lot of times people want to be able to print and they're used to seeing in Maya commands coming out here and you're being able to see it in the um, little output editor here for saying notes and things like that when you're writing your code. Um, so we can modify the script to be able to do that. But right now, with a print command, it's just going to show it inside of this part of the script editor, the um, outputs. We can go to edit clear history and you can see that the history output is clear just so that we can see it a little bit cleaner run so we can see when it runs it shows the three lines of code that we wrote plus what it outputted with the print statement and it's just a little bit statement it's not really doing anything except showing us that bit of text so let's go back to notepad and let's look at how we can modify this script so that way we can show it inside of the little output window on the bottom. So I'm going to get rid of this line because we're going to actually use a different command. And in order to use this command, we need to import a library. The library that we're going to import is the SYS library. So let's do that. Import S SYS. And then the command that we want to use within here is sys.stdout.write. And I am going to write the same thing that we did before. I am a really 
Let's do that all caps. Okay, so we just added one extra line here where we imported the system library and then we changed the print to this right um, where we're, ex we're going to be writing out this into the uh, output window on the bottom. So I'm going to copy this, bring it back into Maya, overwrite this, select everything and run it. And you can see down in the bottom here, we get that bit of code outputting into our little output window here. So that's it for your first program. You're off and running. Uh, hopefully this went pretty smoothly. If not, look through really quick because it's only one line. Make sure that everything is spaced or typed out exactly the way that we have it here. Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger so that we can actually see it just right. Um, yeah, make sure that you don't have any typos, that everything that you open, you close, being like parentheses or quotation marks, and uh, make sure that you don't have any extra spaces because sometimes if you add spaces like that, your code will error out. So because Python it really takes into account white spaces, which are just spaces that are added to the beginning, of your line of code. So just make sure that you don't have any extra white spaces at the beginning either. Okay, good luck. We'll see you in the next tutorial.